Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. You should have been wearing a vest with you, piece of junk. Should have built a return to. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, 
Our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Ace Combat 7. It's been a, a long road. It's kind of surreal to be sitting here and having the full-fledged game at my fingertips. Analog sticks, if you will. Here's to a wonderful Ace Combat 7 series. We're going to be playing all the missions this game has to offer. And to celebrate, we're giving away 10 keys for PS4 only for the full-fledged game. To enter, all you have to do is retweet and like the video tweet uh, when it goes out. And that tweet will be in the description below for you guys to do so. Also, real quick, I am streaming live right now. Come in, check it out. Save this video for later. Or watch it now and come hang out on the stream. Without further ado... Here we go. So uh, what we just heard is that we were supposed to go investigate um, a station that's gone offline. However, our base where we're supposed to fly out from is now being compromised. And this is mainly probably going to be like a training mission, I would say. And good Lord, hello, preview. Just like that. F-16 from the start. This is going to be a good time. Ah, and we get the four air-to-air -air missile. Four AAM. Uh, as you can see, the weapons property with this missile, we can lock onto multiple targets at once and launch, well, four missiles. Okay, good to go. Sorties, select the aircraft. Ready to go, ready to go. Mage squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. still silent. Scramble. Got those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Mage squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. I've been waiting. Three, oh three, man. Five. Yeah, I've been waiting. This is gonna be this is gonna be good fun. Let's roll. Scramble time! I'm getting a little too excited right now. Let's go. Your call sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. Okay, I'm Mage 2. Mage 1's in front. Full afterburner. Would be funny if we crash there. Okay. Oh, wow. And it's inverted already? There you go. I'm here. Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Oh, we already got one on radar, Mage One. We're gonna get a little climb going on here. See if Mage One wants to follow us. Beautiful, right through the clouds. Okay, and level out here. Target, TU-95, 9,000 meters away. 
I think here is going to show us how to do everything. Okay, we're pretty much in engaging distance. Looks like bombers have been located. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. Ooh, mage overflow. So I told them. I had to fill an empty spot, so play along. It's still a leash, though. Okay, press it. Approach once you see locked. Okay. So we're still not locked yet. Okay, fire one. Fox two, it looks like. Fox two, Fox two. Fox two, yep, Fox two is correct. Okay, T95 destroyed. Okay, we can change our radars with this. We have one more contact being trailed by, looks like some of our guys here. Let's go oh ourselves. my gosh. And look at this. MiG-21, we have to shoot down my favorite jet aircraft of all time, jet fighter aircraft. Okay, we got two MiG-21s. Let's go ahead and spool up our four aims with X. Here we go. Fox 2, Fox 2. Fox 3. Okay, these are going to be... Is that radar guided? Beautiful strike right there. Okay, we got another one off. Another one off. These are extremely good missiles. Yep, easy work. We only have 12 of these, though. Okay, so a nice little tutorial right there to get us all worked into the game. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Osean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erujian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erujia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhen peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. 
They even tried saving the Yuzhins, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erusian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arugia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big, fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out. <laughs> and set the dogs on me. Arusia has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhan continent stationing the IUN Peacekeeping Force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The 
Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Now it's time, in my opinion, for the first official mission. We learned that we have a lot of ground tar targets to take out here, so we're going to upgrade our plane. By the way, this is the uh, tech tree. Uh, we have an F2A. You know, these are all just based on the F-16. F-14, which I'm going to get as soon as possible. Mirage 2000, MiG-29. Oh, my gosh. F-15, F-15C, F-18. What's down here? I want to follow the MiG. Okay, yeah. I'm a yeah, I'm going to have to. Yeah. I got to go down the, the, the Russian tech tree. SU-35. A large bomber based on the SU-27. SU-37. SU-35. SU-47. Okay, F-35. Okay, where is the PACFA? The PACFA. I hope you guys don't get mad at me for not going down the America. I mean, we'll, we'll unlock all these, but I'm going to go heavy with the... the um, after we get the F-14, I'm going to go down to the MiG-29. Okay, GBD. Yes. And anti air weaponry. Destroy the target. Oh, the HQ let's, let's go. That no let's go. Come to civilians and no damages to be done to public facilities. But uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You ever worried about civilian territory? Well, you've lost pretty much half of the your own. Your own. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. GBD. Okay, B is for bomb. We're just gonna go right through these targets. Oh, whoa! What is that? Whoa, that's neat. So you can dump fire these and. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, radar. It's popping off now, trigger. The war has officially begun. On the way. Did you get there? Yep, okay, another one, and let's let's get out of here. Might be quicker just to dumb bomb. Target destroyed. Five to go. Watch for the power lines. No, 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 I don't want that one. Yep, we'll go with that one. Take care of all the radar. Hopefully the SBAA won't be as accurate. Okay, two more, two more. Got that one as well. Dodge two missiles. Let's see if the guns will take these out too. Yep, it works. Okay, good. Okay, so do we go after the fighters that are up or okay, well, I guess we'll go after these uh aircraft on the ground. Okay, we've got two transports that haven't taken off yet. Just a good thing that our wingmen are keeping us clear right now. Oh, right, he's out, he's out. Here, you, you take that. Watch, watch post. Okay, now we're on anti-air. Let's get him killing. All right, we'll lock into this guy. Beautiful. Another one up here. Let's 
trying to get as much firepower out as possible. We're going to change targets, too, because they're going to start to lock me up. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Easy with that turn. Don't want to crash into the ground. Much better. Okay. Sorry, we were we were in the, we were in the standard flight controls, which we couldn't do rolls or anything. But now we can get on people six much easier here. Okay, let's find our next target. Oh, what happened? Yeah. Whoa. 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 Do you guys see those things? I don't even know how I'm going to. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. HQ, this is Gollum 1. Bandits can be. LT and R together. Press R. Repeat. Bandits are drones. Okay, gotcha. A lot of thrust, a lot of braking. This would be a lot hotter than it sounds. Oh, there goes two in a row? One more left, one more left. No, there's two more, there's two more. You can see the small one on the radar. It's right there. Okay, we're starting to get on. It looks like he's leaving the combat area. No, he's he, he's starting to come back. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, one more. Can y'all can y'all kill one or two of them? I've been killing everybody. Ooh, God, I thought we almost had that one. See, so we can drop it on him right here. Yeah, I killed them all, Brownie. It's like, welcome to Ace Combat. Nice work, everyone. No, nice work, me. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. There you go, clown. You tell them. God, we got some sense in here. Fellas, we're going to hold episode one right there. Hope you have enjoyed so far. We're getting kind of used to the controls now, and the story's building a little bit. Hopefully, uh, next episode, we'll get into some more sophisticated aircraft and weapon systems. And uh, we'll try to have two episodes out a week. If not, we'll definitely shoot for one. So look forward to that. Again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day and Friday and fly day. Peace out.